Okay, so to answer part A, we need to calculate how many moles are in that balloon. So we can just use the ideal gas law. PV is equal to nRT, and we're trying to find N. So N is equal to PV over RT. And so let's start by calculating the volume. This is a spherical balloon, so the volume is given by 4 thirds pi r cubed. And so this is 4 thirds times pi times, now we were told that the diameter was 30 centimetres. So the radius is 15 centimetres, or 0 0.150 metres. And so we cube that, and we get a volume of 0 0.14, 0 0.0, 1437 meters cubed. And now we can just substitute into this equation for n. So n is equal to p, which was 1 atmosphere, 1.01 times 10 to the 5 pascals, times 0 0.014137 over r, which is 8.314. And then we were told this was 20 degrees C. This needs to be in kelvins, so that's 20 plus 273.15 to convert from Celsius to kelvins. And solving this, we end up with 0 0.586 moles. Now for part B, we need to find the average kinetic energy. And we know that that's given by a half mv squared, which is equal to 3 over 2 kBt. And so this is equal to 3 over 2 times 1.381 times 10 to the minus 23 times t in Kelvin. So 20 plus 273.15. And this is equal to 6.07 times 10 to the minus 21 joules. Now part C asks, well, what's the RMS velocity of these helium atoms? So in order to do that, we need to use that V, the average velocity squared, is equal to the RMS speed squared. And so from up here, we can see that V RMS squared will be 3 over 2 kBt times 2 and divided by m. So we're going to need to know the mass of helium. And so we can look it up on the periodic table, and this is 4.0026. 0, 02 atomic mass units. We need to get it into kilograms to substitute it in here. So in order to do that, we've got 4.002602. Now this is grams per mole. So we times it by 10 to the minus 3 to make it into kilograms. And then we need to divide by Avogadro's number to get the mass of one molecule rather than Avogadro's number of molecules. And so that is equal to 6.6 466 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms and so we can now put this number into the equation here and so we've got VRMS squared is equal to 3 over 2 kBT which is the 6.07 times 10 to the minus 21 that we calculated in part B times 2 divided by 6.6466 times 10 to the minus 27 this is equal to 1,826,488. And so to get the root mean squared, we take the square root of that, and that is equal to 1,351 meters per second. So fairly fast, and because that's so fast, that's why so much helium's escaped the Earth's atmosphere. It's helium, because it's so light, travels very quickly, and so it's more likely to exceed the escape velocity and escape from the Earth's atmosphere.